One, two, three. Rough, rough videos. Happy Tuesday, my Iowa students. Let's take a deep breath in. Inhale up. And exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down. Okay, we're going to go over our math again. And today, if you pull out your Tuesday week four packet, it's right here, it's ready to go. And you can see, I'm going to put mine in my sheet protector and I'm going to pull out my dry erase marker. And what I'm looking at when I see this is that I am doing patterns. Patterns are very important to establish a lot when it comes to math and life. You'll see that patterns affect you in many areas. And I want to show you an easy way to work on patterns. It's an ABAB pattern. And you can use a two, two very distinct, either two different colors, two different shapes, and work on it with an actual item. So quarter, penny. And what would come after that? ABA would be another quarter and another penny. So quarter, penny, quarter, penny, quarter, penny, quarter, penny, quarter, penny, quarter, penny. So you're getting the idea that the ABA pattern you're just quarter, penny, quarter, penny, quarter, penny, quarter. Now let's look at the shapes on this. This, this is also right here an ABA pattern. So you have circle, triangle, square. Oh, that maybe it's an ABC pattern because it's one, two, three, three different ones. Circle, triangle, square. Circle, triangle, square. Oh, what comes next? Circle, triangle, square. Circle, triangle, square. <gasps> circle. Let's do the next pattern. So this arrow is up, down, left. Up, down, left. What comes next? Another ABC. Up, down, left. Up, down, left. Up, up would come next. You're going to circle up. Star, diamond, oval. Star, diamond, oval. Well, what comes next? Star, diamond, oval, star, diamond, oval. Yes, the star, well done. Diamond, square, circle, diamond, square, circle. What comes next in your pattern? So all of these are ABC patterns. So you can see there's three different things. So you would have like, let me see if I can find another coin to show you an example with the money. Here we go. I have some dimes I can throw in there. So it would be quarter, penny, dime. Quarter, penny, dime. Quarter, penny, dime. There's our AB, sorry bandit. There's our ABC pattern. Let's do the next one. Diamond, square, circle. Diamond, square, circle. So remember, it would be the diamond. Rectangle, cross. Oh, so we have an up and down rectangle, cross, horizontal rectangle. So you have the two different ways that the angle, that the rectangle is lying. So let's see. We have tall, we'll do that, we'll do tall, cross, flat, tall, cross, flat. So the next one will be tall. And that one's a little different because there's no square even in the whole pattern. So you know it can't possibly be a square. So that's what we're working on are some patterns. And we can keep working on those with so many other options. Let me erase this and see what the next page looks like. So you can go over with Miss Kelly before you do it. Let's see. Turning the page. Oh, this one looks a little fun. Let's see what this one is. You know what I forgot to do on the last one? I forgot to put my name. So if you want, you can put your name right up here. 
here we go. Let's read it. We're gonna cross out pictures to solve each problem, then write a number sentence. Oh, so you have three hats. One blew away, so I'm gonna cross off one. How many are left? One, two. You have four hats. Four. Two blew away. One, two. How many are left? Two. You have five hats. One, two, three, four, five. One blew away. So we gotta put five. One blew away. How many are left? One, two, three, four. Okay, I know you guys can finish the other three problems. And I look forward to you showing me all your hard work when we talk later. Talk to you soon. Rough, rough videos.